Hello everyone. Today's topic is transistor as an amplifier. As you know, the amplifier is a device which increases the signal strength is called as an amplifier. Now we'll see why the transistor acts as an amplifier. With the verification, we will see. Now I am taking one circuit here. It is a common base configuration I am taking here. In this base is connected to ground. And this base is common for the emitter as well as the collector. That's why it is called as a common base configuration. <clears throat> In this circuit, this is the voltage between emitter and the base. That's why this voltage is called as a VEB. Okay, and it is a voltage between collector and the base. That's why it is called as VCB. And the parameters on the circuit we will see a little later. Before that, we will see what is the exact definition of the amplifier. Amplifier is an electronic device that is used to increase the power level of an input signal is known as an amplifier. It increases the input signal strength that is called as an amplifier. The transistor acts as an amplifier only in the active region. So we know that the active region is, what is active region? In the active region, uh, as we know, there are two junctions, emitter junction and the collector junction. In the active region, this emitter junction is forward bias and the collector junction will be in the reverse bias. When the emitter junction is forward bias and the collector junction will be in the reverse bias, then we can say that the transistor will be in the active region. So if you see the circuit, this is a negative terminal and it is a positive terminal. This negative terminal is connected to N terminal. Here we are taking NPN transistor. As we are taking NPN transistor, emitter direction is outside and the base and the collector directions are inside. As we know that in the NPN transistor, emitter current direction is outside and the remaining two terminals currents are inside. Yeah, negative terminal of the supply is given to the N type. So as the negative is connected to N, then we can say that the transistor will be this junction this emitter junction will be in the forward bias okay now here if you see about the collector junction this is about the emitter junction uh, now we'll see in the collector junction it is a positive terminal and the negative terminal of the supply here we are giving positive terminal of the supply we are giving to the n type to the collector terminal n type so as a positive is given to the n type then we can say that collect collector junction will be in the reverse bias positive uh, if we connect the positive to the n then it it will be in the reverse bias so collector junction will be in the reverse bias so emitter junction forward bias and the collector junction reverse bias in this particular circuit hence we can say that this transistor is in active region so when the transistor is in active region, it acts as an amplifier. Now we'll see the parameters in the circuit. So if you see the parameters here, this RE, the resistor which is connected to the emitter terminal, that is we are indicated with smaller suffix E. That is the dynamic input resistance. Whatever we see the transistor left side, that is the input side, and the right side, that is the output side. RE is called as the dynamic input resistance, and IE is the emitter current. And <clears throat> if you take the delta IE, that is called as a change in emitter current. Now, if you take RL, RL is the load resistance. This is the RL, and that is the load resistance. Next, IC. IC is called as a collector current. The current passing through the collector terminal that is called as a collector current. Delta IC is a change in collector current. Okay. Now <clears throat> we'll see the input equations as well as the output voltage equations. Now we'll see 
what are the equations we will get after getting the equations we, we have to substitute in the amplification factor this is the voltage veb and it is vcb okay now it is a negative terminal it is a positive terminal it is a positive and a negative okay now the change in input voltage delta VI across the dynamic resistance RE at the junction is given by. Okay, now input side delta VI equation we can write it as we are we are using only simple ohms law V is equal to I into R. The change in input voltage, the change in input voltage is indicated by delta VI change in input voltage VI is equal to change in input current that is IE and the input resistance that is dynamic resistance RE. V is equal to IE into R. We are using only simple ohms law. Change in input voltage is equal to change in input current into resistance. V is equal to IE into R. This is the input side voltage equation <clears throat> now we'll see what are the equation we will get at the output side the variation in the output voltage delta v naught across the load resistance rl can be given by here also same delta v naught output voltage change in output voltage is equal to change in output current output current is delta ic V is equal to I into R. Here R is load resistance RL. So this is the input voltage, change in input voltage, and it is a change in output voltage. Okay. IC is the collector current, that is output current. IE is a emitter current, that is the input current. Delta V naught is equal to delta IC into RL. Now we know the formula, one formula that is current gain of common base that is gain of gain of common base because it is a common base configuration we are taking the gain of common gaze we know that common gain is alpha is equal to output current is ic and the input current is ie see here output current is ic and the input current is ie okay here yeah. Input current is IE. Output current by input current. So here from this, <coughs> alpha is equal to, if you write change in output current, that is delta IC by alpha is equal to delta IE. Okay. So here from this, if we separate delta IC, because here we are having a delta IC, delta ic is equal to alpha into delta ie so this is the formula we are having so now we are substituting in place of delta ic i am substituting alpha into delta ie okay <laughs> now i am substituting here Delta V naught is equal to uh, delta IC into RL. So here I am substituting in place of delta IC, I am substituting alpha into alpha into delta IE into RL. This is an equation for delta V naught. Delta V naught equation is alpha into delta E into RL and the input equation. This is the input equation. Input equation delta V i is equal to delta I e, that is change in input current into R e. So now we have the output voltage change in output voltage equation, change in input voltage equation. Now we'll see the amplification factor. 
so the voltage amplification factor is given by so the voltage amplification factor is indicated by a and it is a change in output voltage by change in input voltage the formula of the amplification factor is change in output voltage by change in input voltage so just now we got the delta v naught value and delta vi value that we have to substitute here is equal to a is equal to delta v naught value we got just now alpha into alpha into delta ie into rl divided by delta ie into re so from this we can write that delta ie delta ie both will get cancelled and finally a we got alpha into rl divided by re because these both are cancelled the remaining term is alpha into rl divided by re so this is the amplification factor value now we will substitute this amplification uh, value in the formula so here a is equal to delta v naught divided by v delta v i so here a value we got so what is the a value we got alpha into r l divided by r e is equal to delta v naught by delta v i so here from this delta v naught is equal to alpha into r l by r e into delta v i so this is the final equation so from this equation we can say that this output voltage is alpha into r l divided by r e times of delta v i so from the above, from this equation we can say that delta v naught is amplified by a factor of alpha into r l by r e hence the transistor acts as an amplifier so output signal is increased than the output signal this all out output signal is more than this much time of input voltage hence the transistor acts as an amplifier so output signal is amplified so this is about the transistor as an amplifier okay so in the next class we will discuss more about the transistors